Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Rat Lab. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. <sighs> Been safe. Started out your New Year's really, really well. Today, we are going to paint my favorite color. Um, it's actually a very, very simple, a very simple pattern. It's a chartreuse with a blue back, a little orange belly. Probably caught more fish on it than, than anything else, and I have for years. Run it down a lot of riprap around dams. Uh, just overall, overall a good color. Anywhere you look, probably in any of my boxes, you'll find this. Um, they're hanging up. They're in the console of the truck. You name it, I've, I've got them everywhere. Um, I really like this. And like I said, this will be a really quick session. Uh, but uh, I, I am a, this is my confidence bait. I will go to it. I will throw it all day long, even if I don't catch anything on it, unfortunately. And I think we all have one of those in our, in our box. So... Here we go. All right, let's get started on this chartreuse blueback. Like I said, this is one of my favorite baits. Um, it is my go-to bait. I will, I will throw this more than I probably throw just about anything else. So, uh, been real successful with it. It is my go-to bait. Like I said earlier, I think each one of us probably has a go-to bait uh, in our box or in our boat. And uh, I'm not going to say that confidence baits are bad, but they're not always the best either. Sometimes they take advantage of us, but it's all good. So today we're going to paint it up. So we're going to start out. We are going to shoot a little bit of orange right down the belly of it. And... We're going to use the fluorescent yellow, which is going to be the majority of it. And then for my blue, I am going to use a couple different blues. I am going to use the Wicked's Laguna Blue. It's going to be the primary, and we are going to darken it up with just probably a drop or two of... Wicked regular blue. There will also be a little bit of a mesh pattern put on it. And we will dust that mesh with the Wicked Black. That being said, let's get started. I think I got my gun all cleaned up this morning. Have a pretty nasty clog in it. Seems to be working pretty well now. So let me get this gun loaded up and we'll get right after it. All right, we've got our chartreuse loaded up in the gun. We are going to go ahead and shoot the majority. We're going to go ahead and shoot the belly. I'm not for sure how well this chartreuse or fluorescent yellow is going to show up. in this lighting we are going to shoot the belly and up the sides to the back just the ridge of the back and the chartreuse yellow not like that put a quick heat set on this i'll be right back with you Okay, so we got a heat set on that. I did go ahead and run a little chartreuse just on up the back of that. We're going to go ahead and lay the belly in next before we put our netting on it. So I am using Wicked Orange for the belly. You could use a, you could use a pearl if you wanted to. I think I've got a little clog in my gun today, so... We're going to go ahead and just shoot a regular, not shoot a pearl. And then I'll get this all cleaned out here. 
later. One of the reasons for your clogs could very well be this stuff right here. This will clog your gun up in a heartbeat. It'll fall right off into it when you're putting your paint in. So go ahead and get some of that out of the way. It does not hurt at all, I promise you. All right. Put that off there. Then put us some orange in here. And this will have to be thinned out just a hair. Use our Createx 4020. You can mix it in a cup beforehand if you want. I've had pretty good success just mixing it in in the bowl of the airbrush. A little toothpick. Stir it up really good. Back flush it a little bit so that that thick paint that's down in the chamber actually comes up. And works out pretty well. So now we're just going to shoot the belly. It's going to be a real thin line. That's right. So just kind of even it up down through the belly. Blend it in to that chartreuse. Keep your gun at an angle, shooting down the sides of the body. Like I said, I think I've had a bit of a problem today with with a clog in my gun, so I may fight that here a little bit. There we go. Give us a good little good little orange belly on it. So. I think you can see that. All right, I'm going to put a quick heat set on that since we are going to put netting on it. Make sure that that's completely dry before we wrap this bait up. And uh, then we'll go ahead and shoot our scale pattern. A little bit on the back and down the sides, down to that lateral line just a little bit. Then we'll shoot our blue back. And... We'll be done with this one. Like I said, today, really, really easy pattern. Anybody can shoot this one. So give me just a second to heat set this. All right, got the gun cleaned out. Got a good heat set on that. Bait's pretty dry. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take some netting material. This is available at Hobby Lobby, any craft store. Um, all different shapes and sizes and whatever you want to do with it. This just happens to be a, a small piece of a very, very fine uh, fabric mesh, ribbon mesh. And that's what we're going to go ahead and cover this bait with today. So the first thing I like to do is hook that back. You don't rip it up like that. This one's... This one has no stretch to it whatsoever. A lot of it you get will, will stretch for you a little bit. So there we go. We're going to lay that nicely down the back, which I'm not too concerned about the back. I run it on the sides because once we go back, uh, once we go back in with the blue, we're going to cover the top of this bait up. So, Well, it is a little hard to deal with because it doesn't have any stretch in it. It also doesn't allow you to stretch the material out and make all of your scale pattern different sizes, which is a nice thing as well. Just want to make sure it lays down those sides really nice. There we go. About like that. Get another clip on it here. So we got it good, it's nice right down the side, it's nice down that side. Like I said, the top I'm not too worried about. We'll just go ahead and V that up a little bit right there on the top. We'll put a little clip up here. About like that. So we should be able to lay a nice scale pattern down the sides. <clears throat> to do that, we're going to use Wicked Black. <clears throat> and get it good and 
shook up here. And get it loaded up in our gun. Some of these bottles are way softer than the others, so some are easy to squeeze and some are not. I never understood that. Probably never will. All right, like I said, we're going to shoot this at a 45 degree angle, so I'm just going to shoot it slightly down the sides. And I'm going to go ahead and go up into the top lightly. Like I said, it really don't matter up there. And then we're just going to shoot it down the side. And we're just going to put that scale pattern and just try to keep it even down the back. So when the blue does go on the back, I don't have any dark spots. So, all right. And there's our scale pattern. We'll put a heat set on that. I'll go ahead and do that while you're with me. That way we can go ahead and unveil this. And there's our slide scale pattern. You can see we got a little gun got a little touchy right there. I think I just unleashed my clog, but we'll go ahead and continue on with this. We'll see how it works out. I think I think we'll run the blue down it. I think we'll be all right. Um, but that's what we're working with so far. So we put this back in the clip. Let me clean this gun out, and we'll get the blue loaded up. And we'll shoot the blue back. All right, gun is loaded up with our blue that we just mixed up. So, first thing we're going to do is we're just going to start right down the back. And this is probably going to take a couple coats and a couple heat sets. And my air compressor that you all have come to grow to love. Uh, let me put a quick heat set on this while the air compressor blows and we'll be right back. Alright, we got our heat set on, our air compressor's turned off. <clears throat> Looks really good, but I am going to go down this one side. Just a little bit more, just to even it all out, and then across the back, put that pretty, pretty blue in there, see what we got going, try to even this bait up a little bit, about like that, put a heat set on that real quick. This is what we got. And this is my go-to bait right here. So let me get some eyes ready and we'll drop some eyes on it. And we'll be done with this one. All right, let's put some eyes on this. So for this particular color, I'll normally run an eye about like that. Really bright orange eye with a black pupil. However, those are 530 seconds, and that's the only ones I have left. Like I mentioned in the last video, I had to place an order. That has been placed. Just waiting on them to get here. So today... I think we'll just use, if you can see that, just a red eye with a black pupil. So, 
First thing we're going to do, get our super glue. Always want to add just a little bit of, don't need a whole lot of it, just enough to hold it in place until it's, until you put your clear coat on there. And then we'll take one of these eyes off here. And that one's got just a little bit of fiber on it. And I like to do them on the X-Acto knife. Lay it in there. And press it in. Press it into the socket. Got a really good pattern there. And that's probably a little much. Now there's probably not enough. One thing about my videos is you get all the quirks too. You get to listen to the air compressor. You get to watch me mess up. Most of the time I won't edit any of that out. Because I have a feeling you're going to have the exact same issues when you're doing it. Things are going to happen. Everything's not always going to go perfect. It's not always going to go exactly like you want it to go, but it's okay. The fish really don't know. Of course, we all want to produce a nice, clean product that looks really, really good, but occasionally things happen, and it's all right. I want you to know that. So, there it is with the bright red eyes in it. I like it. Like I said, that is, that is a fish catching machine right there. Coming up, what's going on? While you're waiting on me, hit that like button. Subscribe. Please subscribe if you like what I'm bringing to you. Even with all the mistakes, please hit the subscribe button. That way we can continue to bring you, bring you some good content, show you some different things. And like I said, here in just a moment, I'll let you know what, what's coming up in the next week. Well, all right, everybody. Thank you again for staying with us today, watching another bait get painted. This is, this is what we ended up with. Like I said, I call it my parrot bait. It just kind of reminds me of a parrot, but chartreuse with a blue back. CBB, whatever you want to call it, but got that scale pattern in there. You can see that it was a repaint. I did not strip this one down with sandpaper or any kind of abrasive, so that you can slightly see this kill spot that's that's on the back of this bait. But it's it's a good running bait. Once I get it all clear coated, I'll I'll post some final pictures at the end of this video for you. But, like I said, I want to thank you all for, for sticking around and watching me paint another bait. We'll probably do one more this week. Um, we'll probably do a shad pattern. Um, I'm in Oklahoma. I know down south in Texas, they're already, they're already out on the water catching fish, even though it's still chilly down there, too. A little chilly here. Uh, I know a few guys around here have been out. Um, they're catching them, so... Uh, we'll probably do a, a simple shad pattern this week. Then after that, I want to show you or introduce you to the other half of the Rat Lab, which would be my son. He pours all the soft plastics. So I don't know if we'll do a full in-depth soft plastics this week, but we will go into we'll go into the shop where we do that and let him show you a little bit of what's going on in the soft plastic world and then like i said we'll we're gonna show you a little bit of everything we're gonna we're gonna show you some spinner baits we're gonna pour some jigs and and set them up we'll paint the heads on them get them all ready for you uh we're gonna do a little bit of everything um just no telling uh i know we're gonna be pouring some ned rig plastic here pretty quick so he's he's hot and heavy on that uh, so we'll show you some of that as well but, once again, if you like what you see, subscribe, like, you know, hit the bell. That's, that's how we can continue to bring you this content. We enjoy bringing it to you. 
I'm going to do this one way or the other, whether I'm bringing it to you or I'm not. Um, so if you like what you see, subscribe, like, share, um, send it around the world so we can share it with everybody else. So from Lake Rat Tackle in Yukon, Oklahoma, thank you. Have a good weekend, and we'll see you in the middle of the week.